my job as a council member is to use those stories, use those testimonies to fuse them all together to create a great outcome and that God gets the glory. I think that we are in a unique place in history and in time where if we maximize the moment now, the people are he, who are here uh, will have a greater outcome with their life if they just buy into what we're doing. It's not just about social services or a handout, it's about a hand up. And I've got here because so many people from all walks of life gave me a hand up. Whether it's two young men, uh, Keneal Cole and Demetrius Mormon, who come from this community through the struggle, that have started their own business right here in Ward 8, uh, with the help of so many. Uh, one, their business is called Stay Down, the other one is called Cool. And through their entrepreneurship spirit and with support, these young brothers are doing a phenomenal job of getting their message out and creating a new culture in their generation about what is cool, what is acceptable, and it's positive in our community. I think there are so many thousands of them, not just young men, but young ladies who are out there with so much ambition, but just need some direction and some help. And DEO is the vehicle we're gonna to use to give people direction to getting their businesses off the ground and become a vibrant option for people right here in Ward 8 and across DC. Uh, my job is, as the people keep me accountable, my job is to keep businesses accountable, to ensure that they're doing right by our people every day, that they are being good citizens, being good neighbors, and vice versa. Um, what we're planning to do here is something that has never been done before in the war. Uh, we had some great people that came before me, Marion Burry, uh, James Bunn, uh, different people that done business in the war that did a good job. But now it's time to go to the next level, and this is the vehicle to give people the tools, uh, the relationships, the government resources, the community resources to ensure they have success in getting their business off the ground and becoming sustainable. I think the value of human capital is so vital in the success of any business. Um, as Take myself for example as a young man, so many different people from all walks of life invested in me. Um, so you see me sitting here as the councilman representing Ward, they know I just didn't get here by myself. And somebody cared, somebody corrected me, somebody rebuked me, somebody encouraged me, somebody gave me books to go to school, somebody gave me an extra $20 to get something to eat. And those type of uh, bridges along the way allows me to, to make sure I'm a bridge to the next person behind me. And that's for the old, the young, and the in-between because we are in a crisis right now. If we don't get in position to control the economics in our community, we may lose them forever. I'm assuring you this organization, DEO, is in place to make sure that that doesn't happen. In this ward, it's 10 years from now, the, the, the ward is flourishing, development is here, but the people, the original people, like my family, that grew up here, still live here. Not only just have jobs, but have careers. Went back to school, got their education, the crime is down, that we own in our community, that we are part of investment teams. We have the capital to do what we need to do to start up more businesses. And that's what it's truly all about. Because I go other places and I see nice things. I wonder why we don't have those things right here where I live at. Now that's my time not to talk about excuses, but talk about solutions. And together with the group we have gathered here today, we're going to develop strategies and solutions to make Ward 8 the best place to live right here in Washington, D.C.